Today I actually cannot kink a mac myself. I am going to be doing a full face of Mac Beauty. How colorful is this palette? This is probably the most colorful palette I have. I have my eyes and my blush here. And then on this palette, I have my highlighter, concealer, contour, and foundation. I am going to have to mix the shades to get my perfect foundation shade. I didn't find my perfect shade, so but I think I got the right ones here. I'm excited. I built my own palette, my eyes, and my complexion. I think I'm going to have to mix some shades to get the perfect foundation shade, but we're going to figure it out. I think I got the right shade. I have my highlighter here, and then I have my blush and eyes. We're going to do a really nice, very summer, very festive um, eyeshadow look. Best part about mop is that everything is refillable it's so much more sustainable so much more healthier for the planet um this is what the lip case looks like and then this is the lip shade i got i got the lip balm in the shade m24 stick it in there so let's see let's start with golden this is what golden 80 looks like that's golden 80. Natural 70. <laughs> Natural 100. So we're going to do this as my foundation shade. This as my under eye. And then we're going to bring back some more to look back. So this foundation is meant to be full coverage it's it has buildable coverage or i should say so i'm not going to put a lot i'm only going to put it in the areas that i feel like i need coverage the most It's very creamy, right? You guys know I love blending my foundation out with my hand. So we're going to try doing that before I try with the brush. Okay. I would say you definitely need a brush with this. It's a little thick and I haven't done full coverage foundation in a while so it's a lot for me this is a lot i just feel like okay the coverage is good the coverage is good but i'm not happy with the shade the shade is too yellow the undertone i feel like the undertone is off it's too olive or is it too golden I feel like the shade is just not the perfect shade, but let's go ahead and bring back warmth. I have somewhere to be like I have to go out in a little bit so this is scaring me a little bit this whole time I thought I was recording and I wasn't even recording look I blended in the contour tell me like tell me this is not eating tell me it doesn't look so good now look I applied a little bit of the blush on this side and I know everybody's wondering um Betty why did you get this hot pink why would you do that? That's so pastel. But you know what? I want it to live. I want it to live. I want it to try. It is a little too pink though. So I'm adding a little bit of my contour shade. 
a little bit of the golden shade and then just toning it down but i'm not worried i'm not worried i'm glad i tried it see like i did it again why do i why how i do feel like the foundation is still a little golden but i ate i don't know how i do this every time i don't know how i do this every time i just don't know it looks cute the blush was a mistake. I shouldn't have done the blush. <laughs> like, I don't hate it, but it's just not my shade. It's not, it's not for me. The blush was such a mistake. That's okay. <laughs> because you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring it back. We're going to bring it back. Of course, I need a little slip up. I'm human. I'm human. So what should we do with the eyes? What should we do with the eyes? I do want to say, like... I want to do something fun, I want to do something cute, something bold, you know what I mean? What should we do with the eyes? What should we do with the eyes? Um, I'm thinking some type of like liner moment. I'm going to use this Jones Road brush. Um, what am I going to wear? I'm feeling purple. Let's go with the purple. Yeah. So... The eyes are not my favorite. I'll just be honest, the eyes are not my favorite. I like how creamy it is, but it's not as pigmented as it looks on the like on the palette. It feels like it's missing something. What do you guys is missing? Do you think it's missing a bolder lip? A bolder eye? Did that do anything with you? I don't know, it just feels like something's missing. I think lashes are missing, but I don't wear lashes, so I don't have lashes on me right now. I haven't had lashes on my eyes in mad long. So we're gonna try the highlighter. This is the Highlighter Balm M96, super creamy. Just gonna pat it on. Drew a little hard on. <laughs> The foundation is definitely full coverage. I can feel it on my face. I think it's because I haven't worn a full coverage foundation in a long time. So this one just feels extremely, like, so much more heavier than it is. The skin looks amazing. The skin looks amazing. And again, I did it. I wasn't even trying to color match, but I did it. Look. It looks really good. I like it. I'm going to give the foundation, as of right now, 9 out of 10. It's a little heavier than most foundations that I would wear. I would actually use this just as a spot concealer, and that's it. Um, I wouldn't necessarily put this much foundation all over my face anymore. I don't think it looks heavy. What do you guys think? It definitely looks like I have foundation on because it is a little heavier. Like I said, it's a little heavier, but still, not like cakey not in a bad way it just looks like i have a full face of makeup on i love the blush i added hanky panky from rms on top just to get it to the shade that i like because it's a little pastel um the eyeshadow this is not 
what I would normally do. I was trying to be fun. I was trying to be cool. Um, I like the consistency. I like, I like how it feels, but I definitely have to play around with the shades for a little bit more. It was like, you have to set it with powder for sure, because it was transferring and that transferred a little bit and I had to clean it up but I think I'm going to play around with the colors a lot more and do a different look maybe I should have done a different look the liner look was kind of hard because it kept transferring so yeah but I like the consistency it's thick it's creamy it's blendable I like it 8 out of 10 for sure I wish the colors popped out more I wish it was a lot more pigmented I'm going to show you guys what it looks like outside. This is going to be my everyday lip. How gorgeous. This is the Mob Lip Balm M24. It feels good. Looks so good. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. You guys know I do not know how to end these videos, but if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. I'm there. I'm everywhere. Active, definitely more on TikTok, so check that out. And yeah, I am going to link the products that I used down below in the description box if you want to check them out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.